Hamsamalad's races to the surface as her crew fights the raging blaze. From the eyewitness accounts, shortly after the submarine surfaced, people could see that the deck tiles were just peeling off into the water. Justin and the team combine evidence from the wreck site with eyewitness testimony to piece together the likely sequence of events. The reports show that water began to pour into the damaged stern. At this time, most of the crew were up on deck, but some were trapped below, including Victor. Consomlets was equipped with an escape uh, chamber, which was uh, held within the, the conning tower. Victor, with the captain and three others, managed to get into the escape chamber and seal the door. But as the disabled sub plunges into the depths, they can't release it. Внутри начался ковардак. Металл скрежет металла. Давление воды вот это крушит вот это все. Я понимаю, что сейчас уж точно погибну. Единственное, что меня утешало в своей мысли, что когда сейчас давление воды расставит эту капсулу, ну долго мучиться не придется. То есть это будет все мгновенно, в секунде все. The submarine hits the sea floor. We think bow first and at some speed. This could explain the massive damage to the bow section that we saw from the ROV, while the stern was still intact. And at some point, the escape capsule just comes free. When the ROV moved towards the conning tower of the submarine. We could very clearly see a very sort of like obvious wedge-shaped hole. It was very obvious that the escape chamber was no longer there. Such a fast ascent means there's no time for the massive pressure difference to equalize. The escape capsule comes to the surface. The upper hatch blows off and throws out one of the, the crew members. Он вылетает, пролетает 20 метров в воздух и падает плашма на воду, ударяется дыхательным мешком от аппарата. Воздух идет в легкие, разрывает ему легкие, он погибает от сильнейшей баротравмы и легких все. А меня спасает то, что я находился немножко сбоку, а не по центру, как как он. At this point now, there are 60 men in the water, but they only have one life raft between them. And even this has been uh, inflated upside down. Few of the crew are wearing survival suits or life jackets. They'd never been ordered to put them on. It takes now over an hour before they are rescued by a Soviet uh, support ship. Я едва, я даже говорить не мог, я шептал, я прошептал, дум, э, мы, э, такой, думаю, вдруг не выживут, то чтобы знали, как погиб командир, и прошептал, говорю, что командир погиб в СК. By the time rescue arrives, half of the men in the water have succumbed to the freezing Arctic temperatures. Out of the 69 crew in total, uh, only 27 survived the accident. 